Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Stability AI's Stable Diffusion 2.1 on Windows 11. I'm hoping this video will save you time and prevent you from spending endless hours of troubleshooting like I did. This took me a couple of weeks to figure out how to set it up properly and I hope this guide is helpful to you. First off, make sure you have WSL installed on your computer. Then install the Ubuntu 2004 distribution by typing WSL dash dash install Ubuntu dash 20 dot 04 in your Windows PowerShell terminal window and executing the command. The next thing we need to do is install NVIDIA CUDA version 11.4 within our Ubuntu 2004 distribution. Make sure you install CUDA version 11.4, other versions may not be compatible. I originally had the current version 12 installed and I wasn't able to get it to work for me. If we look at the Stable Diffusion GitHub page, we can see some of the code in the requirements section references CUDA version 11.4. Head on over to NVIDIA's CUDA Toolkit 11.4 downloads page, which I will link in the description below. Make sure you have Linux selected as the operating system, then select x86-64 for the architecture, WSL Ubuntu is the distribution, select 2.0 for the version, and hit deb local for the installer type. This should display a block of code below the download buttons with commands you can copy and paste into your terminal to install. Copy and paste these commands into your Ubuntu 2004 terminal one by one and execute them. After all the commands finish executing, you should have NVIDIA CUDA 11.4 successfully installed within your Linux distribution. Now that we have CUDA installed in our distribution, the next thing we need to download is Anaconda. Head over to this helpful GitHub page I found that explains how to install Anaconda within WSL. I have a link in the description below. Go ahead and wget one of the Anaconda versions and then use bash to install it. You can hold enter down to skip through the installation prompts until it prompts you to enter yes or no. Just type yes and hit enter, then hit enter to accept the default install path for Anaconda 3. At the end of the installation it will ask if you want it to execute conda init, type yes and hit enter. At this point, Anaconda should be installed in our distribution. Next, we can head back to the Stable Diffusion GitHub page. If we scroll down to the requirements section, it states that you can update an existing latent diffusion environment by running some commands that it lists below. So I guess before we can even install the Stable Diffusion model, we have to set up an LDM environment for the latent diffusion model. Go ahead and follow the link over to the Latent Diffusion repository. Click on the green button that says code, then copy the HTTPS link. Open up the terminal for your Linux distribution and type git clone, then paste the HTTPS link you just copied. Now cd into the Latent Diffusion directory. Execute the command conda env create dash f environment dot yaml and wait for it to complete processing then execute the command conda activate ldm after that if we look a little further down the page we can see there are two more commands we need to execute to install a few more dependencies go ahead and copy and paste these two lines into terminal and execute them after these are done installing, our LDM environment is all set up. At this point, you can delete the folder for the latent diffusion directory if you'd like because we will no longer need any of the files in it now that we have our LDM environment set up. Head over to the Stable Diffusion 2.1 GitHub page and go ahead and clone the repository into your Linux distribution using the command git clone, then the HTTPS link you copied. Now cd into the Stable Diffusion directory. 
Based on the documentation on Stability AI's GitHub page, it looks like all we need to do is execute the commands listed below. However, this actually leaves out a few of the dependencies such as OpenClip Torch. So in order to save you a lot of time, frustration, and troubleshooting, execute this command first. Conda env update dash dash name ldm dash dash file environment dot yaml dash dash prune and it will install the dependencies we need now we just need to execute all the lines of code in the requirements section to finish the installation the first three lines of code in the first block should already be installed for the most part so these should execute quickly in the second block of code everything installed quickly for me other than the last line with gxx linux 64. fair warning this last block of code takes the longest to compile it only took around 10 minutes on my pc but i fully believe it could potentially take up to 30 minutes like they claim in the documentation so just be patient i don't know a whole lot about what xformers do but the first time around it didn't install properly and I kept getting CUDA out of memory errors on my 24 GB RTX 3090. After getting it installed properly and trying the same scripts again, they worked perfectly. So I'm assuming somehow this improves memory efficiency and speed. After everything finishes installing, go ahead and CD back into the stable diffusion directory. All we have left to do now is download the weights and we will be ready to test the text to image script. Click the link for the SD2.1-V weights first and it will take you to Hugging Face. Now go into file and versions and download the v 2 768 dash ema-pruned.ckpt file by hitting the download button to the right of the file size and LFS button. After you have this checkpoint downloaded, navigate to your stable diffusion directory and create a new folder named models. Then move the checkpoint you just downloaded in the models folder. Now open up notepad or whatever text editor you'd like to use. Then copy the first prompt to sample from the SD2.1V model and paste it into Notepad. Then go and edit the section where it says path2768 model.checkpoint and change it to modeled slash. Then paste the name of the model we just downloaded. Now you can copy the working script you have and paste it into the Ubuntu terminal and execute it. If everything is set up properly, the script should run and then generate an image that it saves in the output slash text to image samples directory. If we navigate to this directory, we can check out the image that was just generated. I was really surprised with the amount of detail on each image with this 768 model. To test the other script out, we need to download the SD2.1 base model. Follow the link to Hugging Face to download this model and download the v2 1512 ema prune.ckpt model. Once it downloads, move it into your models directory within Stable Diffusion. Now that we have the model downloaded, copy and paste the second script into Notepad. This one was a little bit more confusing. Change the path to model.checkpoint to models slash v2-1512 ema pruneckpt as you would expect but what confused me was the path to config.yaml make sure you change this to config slash stable dash diffusion slash v2 dash interference dot yaml and make sure it is without the dash v at the end if you use the wrong config file, it generates some pretty funky results. Now, if you execute this script, it should work correctly and generate a new image with this 512 model. Let's navigate to our output slash text to image samples folder and make sure it worked. As you can see, it generated an image for me just as expected. 
Hopefully this video was helpful and you were able to get Stable Diffusion 2.1 set up on your machine. If you enjoyed my video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more content coming soon. Let me know below in the comments if you managed to get this set up for yourself.